Welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. I'm Fireweaver, and with me I have Can Menchi, Rolf, and Demon. Hello. 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 Um, so, um, we're going to split up again. Uh, this time it will be uh, Rolf and uh, Demon who are together. They're going to finish off the processing over here, so we're actually going to be cooking the ores. And uh, they'll show us how they're doing it when we come back to them. And me and Menchi are going to work on the quest book a little. Um, so, have you got your quest book, Menchi? Yes, I do. Um, or oh, actually, we've got a quest to hand in that we finished last time, um, which is redstone cooking. And we can get to claim our reward on there. That's some gold ore. Um, oh, can you put the hammer back? Because I didn't realise that was... Just put it on the back end of the line or something out of your way. The auto hammer. Sure, sure. It's worth showing, actually, that this uh, is a thing. Is you can take um, gold ore like this and hammer it, and it turns it into da, 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 broken gold ore, and also gives you sometimes a little extra back. So if you get random ore, you get uh, that's worth hammering. Um, if you got the vanilla ores as such. Um, so, oh, they're, uh, they're also extending the line here. We noticed that our lava isn't uh, keeping up with the magmatic dynamos. So they're in making more barrels for that and, and adding that in. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so, sorry, Menchi, quest book. Um, in learning to skyblock, there is a quest here. Uh, there's one called Neverrack. Um, so we're going to work on that one. And salt okay. sand. And possibly end stone. Um, so I think they're the ones. There's a new there's a couple of new ones that I haven't seen, so when we unlock that far we can take a look. But um for now let's work on those. So to process Neverrack we need to make stone barrels. And we're gonna be we're not automating this at the moment because um it won't be worth it for us. Because uh, we're going to be moving up in the sky at some point, but that one, I know this is Sky Island already. We're going up higher. So do you want to start um, making these um, stone barrels? Then uh, we've got some stone cooked up over here, Menchi, and just use the first crafting okay. bench over over here. About how many would you like? Uh, we'll do three because we're doing three different quests. Okay. Um, while you're doing that, I'm going to make a another uh, bucket, just in case it will be useful. And I'm going to fill it up with lava while you're working on that. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, just grab a... just kick demon off of a table, it's fine. I'm good, I got a table. Okay. Don't forget, you can uh, click and drag um, on the uh, tables to make the uh, to to put things quicker. Yeah, like that. That's a good plan. You can do that. There we go. So just make th uh, three of those. We good? Okay. All right. Let's, uh, good. Put those back. Okay. Cool. Uh, just for now, somewhere which it won't burn everything so we'll just place it over here for now so just place the three barrels down okay and we can just put our lava inside here and I believe the first one is redstone but we're also going to need some glowstone and what was the last one um, let me have a look I'm checking too. Um, so that's the glowstone one. That's the neverack. If oh, we're making uh, end stone, we need ender pearl. Um, and the soul sand is actually um, uh, from from here. So I've got the stuff for that too. Um, do we need ender pearl for for that? I didn't for end stone, if we're doing end stone. Oh, okay. Well, I may have made a mistake there. Um, that's fine. 
so to make Neverack, I thought I'd just grab the redstone. There we go. It's as simple as, and you can do a few more of these for me. And so I'm going to give these to you by right-clicking on the barrel here, and I'll give you one so you can see what happens. Right-click on the barrel filled with lava. There we go, and that's how we make Neverack. So yay, so that's never rack. And just to make your job a little yep. easier, and considering we're not using the smeltery that rapidly right now, I'm going to nab the lava bucket. We'll put it back afterwards. And put the lava drum here. And now you with your uh, bucket, which I'm just throwing over to you, we can okay. fill these back up, like so. And I believe with glowstone dust, and just glowstone dust, I was right, you don't need the ender pearl, we get endstone. Okay, I must have read it wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, let's look at our quest book here and see. Both the endstone should be complete, so that gives us an extra end pearl. And this gives us glow, uh, glowstone block from those. Alright, finally is soul sand. So let me show you how to make soul sand. Um, is pretty easy. Um, we had some gears over here. Get those. Yeah, I just need to make a piece In of the metals. I'm going to grab a bucket of water as well. Okay, so something that we did a few episodes ago that I forgot to actually do anything with is over here we've got... Um, Menchie, if you come over to me. Yep. Over here we've got witch water, which I'm going to show you how uh, I made that in a second. Um, but if you t um, take the uh, dust that I threw at you and right click the oak barrel here. Is that not right? That's oh. not working. Uh, I think you have to throw standard sand in. Is it just standard sand? Maybe. Yep, you're right. It's sta standard sand. That gives us soul sand. Oh, so I don't really need the dust over here. Um, I've got a few pieces of sand, but not much. Uh, I can grab some sand, though, from here. There we go. So there you go. I have some sand. So the way we make witch water is it has to be next to some kind of mycelium, which is this stuff here. And once it's next to mycelium and water, is uh, the oak barrel will effectively transform any water nearby into witch water. And it takes a little while. You can see that during that process we also get mushrooms. So at the whilst it's transforming, mushrooms are growing over here. And it will grow both the brown and red mushrooms. So this will help your cooking as well. And once that hits 100% like it has now, if you uh, right click the sand on the witch water, we get soul sand. Excellent. That is correct. Worked perfect. Right, so there's something else that's good about soul sand. And considering they're busy with the stuff over there, we'll use the manual sieves. We've got two sieves over here, Menchi. You take the one nearest you, I'll take the one nearest me, and we'll process the soul sand. And that gives us access to all sorts of never-related materials. So instead of going to the never, all the stuff that comes from the never we can get from doing this instead. So nice. that gives us access to never quartz and a few extra little bits and bobs like saplings from that come from the never. Um, what did you get, Menchi, out of yours? Just never quartz? I also got uh, never quartz. Cool. So that's obviously going to help later when we start doing some uh, applied logistics stuff. Um, and I think you can, can do it in stone. No, you can't. All right, that's fine. Cool. Um, with that in mind, you've got all the stuff here. Can you make me some never racks? So, um, and lots more of it. So, Dosey, take redstone and your lava bucket and just uh, smash me out a whole bunch of uh, never rack. That would okay. be useful. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to go over and see how Rolf and 
demon are getting on. So uh, explain what you've got going on over here, Rolf, seeing as you're here. Yeah, uh, we made another uh, item duct to uh, suck out the stuff out, out of the chest you're standing on and then we're going to pulverize it to make uh, the pulverized gold or the pulverized copper and such and then we're going to smelt it into ingots and then yeah, we'll have to find a way to sort it out. So what's good about um, pulverizing these gravels and things, and I know we can hammer them down for a bit more stuff, but we thought long term that's going to just be a waste of time. Yeah. Um, but this is well, a, uh, a normal pulverizing it mechanic, so that's good. And yeah, it's, it's yeah, and just speed it up if we want more. That's the best way to go. Yep. So we can always speed it up with the upgrades in the augmentation uh, tabs. So one thing that I should point out to you is you do not want to be pumping coal blocks or appetite or lapis lazuli bots no. in here. So you may want to change this servo for a better servo that can do filtering. Now I was uh, going to make another servo and uh, pump that stuff out. Uh, nope. I'll see what the best way is. Well you can do. Either way works. but. Um, it still ends up in this chest anyway, so you might still need a filter. Um, and it's a good way of showing the advanced yeah. servos. So yeah, go and make a, a, a more advanced servo for me and we can show how the filters work. Cause it's just good as an, as an example, I think. Yeah, I think we'll have to go for the Electrum one. Probably. Yeah, we've got Electrum, I think, a little bit in the metals. We've got yeah. enough. Well, we've got one ingot, but it's only gold and silver put together. In now we got nine. Yeah. Oh, you got nine. Okay, cool. Uh, where is it? Nice. So the other part, and also why I've got Minchi working mm. over there on stuff, um, is oh, I can. We're gonna need an induction time. smelter for that. Well, indeed, and that's what I'm about to talk about here. Although we can sift grass something that's just come up so um to get tiger wood saplings and things like that I'm sifting topiary grass by s an orberry bush by sifting stone hmm I wonder how we make topiary grass I've not even noticed topiary grass before um oh okay so that's just seeds and dirt together So we don't have a lot of dirt though, do we, lying around? So I think we've used it for stuff. But I'll at least make it, uh, I'll do an example of it with the dirt that we've got. And I think you've got spare crappy seeds that weren't very good, right? Or have you already deleted all the crappy seeds? I think you might have deleted all the crappy seeds. Yeah, I deleted the crappy seeds. Well, well, here's a tip for people. Use, uh, Don't delete the crappy seeds. You can put them back to work again, but I'll use well, these ones. Look at how many seeds we've got. Yeah, true. We can uh, easily make more. Yeah. So, apparently... Dean, why are you making uh, Electrum gears? Uh, to upgrade our furnace, unless you think we don't need it. Yeah, but we need an induction furnace for the upgrade for the servo, so... So I'm sieving this topiary so grass let's make of finding our uh, tiger wood sapling, but I may have to do some of this off camera. Furnace. Yeah, I didn't really get anything out of it. I know the materials out of it is kind of rare, so I'll mess around with that off camera. I guess things that looks like it's going to be a rind to do. Um, that's fine, I just wanted to test that one out. Um, the other part of the quest book that we can look at doing is in the assembly line, they're calling for um, things like the right. other furnaces and stuff, right? So let's take a look at doing that. So elemental processing, I'm not sure we can make a glacial precipitator. I'll take a look though. See what the recipe is. Oh, that's not bad. This is not the usual recipe. All right, I'm going to make a glacial precipitator and then start working down that line for you. How's okay. that sound? 
Yeah, uh, demon is already busy with an induction smelter, but. Oh, okay. Well, you can make that one, and I'll work on the other bits. Um, so that's some gold, some redstone. I know that I'm gonna need probably need some iron and glass. Okay, and what else do I need? Some gears, copper gears. There's some here. Okay. All right, let's see how close I can get to making this in. So one of these, actually I'll make a few of these because I know that we're using, making a bunch of machines, so I'll make a few transmission coils. Um, I've already got that actually. Uh, I need some invar and a piston. Uh, There's some piston here in the wooden things chest. Is there? Yeah. Then I'll make use of that. That will speed me up. There we go, so there's a glacial precipitator that I'm just going to... I know we haven't automated this or doing anything with it yet, but for now I'm just going to place it here. Um, we just need to pump water into this thing and we can make snow and snowballs. Not that we need it right now, but when we do, we can solve the water if, by pumping water into it. It's not a big deal, but we don't actually need it. Except for this quest that required making one. So that's elemental processing done. That gives us a blizz rod and the heart that we don't need because we're not in hardcore mode. Um, I put the uh, blizz rod in the mob drops chest because in theory they come from killing uh, blizzes. Um, other than that, I'll put the hearts in here. There we go. Right, next along the line. The induction spout there. Is, oh, you've made your induction uh, smelter. That gives us a solar panel, by the way. So th that's one solar panel yeah, each. Put it over here. So I should talk about solar panels very quickly. So the solar panels that uh, we had on the old power line, they are um, only produce, like, is it two RF per tick, from what I remember? Something two, like yeah. And a solar panel two produces eight RF per tick. And the solar panel freeze makes 64 RF per tick, which isn't actually too bad. 64 is pretty good. So, um, yeah, if everyone puts down their solar panels over here, uh, then we'll have four. So uh, if you claim the rewards, and that's actually a decent, during the day, that's 128, 256 extra RF. That's actually pretty good. Ooh. So, yeah, go ahead and claim that and add it to the line. Um Right, magmatic melting. I'll make yeah. a magma crucible. Uh, Menchi, um, the job I gave you um, was to make some neverack. It's it's all done. I have sixty three. Can I have um, eight of them, please? I'll make a uh, fluid transposer. Okay. Um, Is that eight, or do I miscount? No, you're giving me eight. This is good. Um, can I borrow your powered furnace? Am I able to interrupt your furnacing? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'll uh, make some copper gears for you as well. So by cooking um, never rack, you get never bricks. And combining those um never bricks together which i'm about to do you get like the proper never bricks that you get from let's say destroying an out uh, an outpost or whatever so. once that's done the last one i will quickly put in this pulverized or like so and there we go and now it's back to normal taking these never bricks And as I said, combining them in a group of four, like so, gives us proper never bricks. And what was it? I was going to make a magma crucible. So that needs invar gears, a leadstone energy cell. Okay, we can make some of that. Okay, let's do... Oh, you'll make servos there, that's fine. You could have asked me, I've got tons of servos in my inventory. I'll make a couple of these. See how you are. And we'll make one of these. Have I not got any team gears on me? I don't think so. Uh, 
There we go. We'll make a machine frame. I may need a two m machine frames from what I think I need to make what's left over from this quest line. Yeah, I'll, I'm already making the fluid transposer. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. Uh, then why don't I yep. give you some of these uh, this stuff then? Um, so if I give you a machine frame and some of the redstone reception coils. Yay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, meanwhile, let me put those seeds back because I don't need those anymore. I know I filled up my inventory really quick, but it's fine. I always do that. And I'll grab another stack of lead. Okay. So I, I, I should probably make two of these uh, energy cell frames. Because one of them we can actually put to use in storing some extra energy around. So that, that's probably worth doing. And with these, have I not got any Invar gears? No, I don't. Did we make any Invar gears? Oh, we've only got one. And have I got... Invar? I made one a few episodes back and then... That's fine. I'll I make think another. we have to make some more. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I used all mine. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, that didn't work so well. One, two, three, and four. That makes a gear. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for that to cook. Um, when do we want to put the uh, crucible and the uh, transposer? Uh, just well, I haven't made the magma crucible yet, um, but that's coming. Uh, again, just put it on this line for now. Remember, we're, all, we're actually going to be moving everything up in the s sky soon. So, um, And just in case, for any reason, we need some extra energy storage, what I'm going to do is up on here. I'm Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let me grab the that cell. I'm going to... I need to get to the interface. Jesus Christ, I've got a lot of crap. There we go. Oh, why can't I get to the uh, energy cell frame interface? Oh, it's just a frame, that's why. <laughs> um, oh, I've forgotten how to process uh, the f energy cells now. I can look, look it up. Uh, three pieces of copper and a coil. All right, let me do that. I know it's not a very good battery, but it will do. So, one, two, three. Everything helps. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of like a backup battery in case we get a lot of rain or something and our solar panels die. Indeed. Like we are now. Um, yeah, exactly. Have I messed this up? Copper, copper, copper. NG cell frame and... Oh, conductance coil, which is electrum. We got any electrum left, or have we used it all up? Oh no, we got one. I think we have some. Okay. No worries. Uh, Your uh, infar gear is ready. We'll put it in the metals chest. Ah, oh, thank God. And we'll swap that out. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna yeah. check on that. You beat me to it. <laughs> That's good. I was trying to keep myself busy so that. You know, we weren't waiting too long for that stuff. Oh, I can't jump over the cables anymore. That's fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. All right, cool. So uh, just to make sure that we've got our input coming in. Wait a minute. Let me do that again. Why don't you just remove this cable and put it in line? There we go. Wait a minute. I'll just move screw it, it here and put it in line. No, no, it's fine. Oh, what? what? Ah, for God's sake, I didn't want it in line. Put it back. <laughs> there we go. Stop trunking in. If I put it in line, you'll be limited to ATRF <laughs> per tick, and that won't be enough to run your machines. Noblet. Oh, good point. So, uh, yeah, this is just a backup. Bad demon. <laughs> Indeed. This is just a backup power in case we need <laughs> power um, moved somewhere else quickly to help us with a task. So. That's why we've got it. Right, let me eat some food. Okay. And we will almost be ready to finish this episode off. I just want to make this uh, 
last part for our quest here. So let's grab our Invar gear that we wanted. And we're going to make our magma magma crucible. Like so. And have you got the uh, liquid transpose? Have you made one of those yet? Yeah, it's already here. Okay, good. So transposer. Let me adjust the configs for this thing. So we're going to take um, our output, dump it over to the right hand side. And I will guess I'll put an input on top. Not that it matters. Excellent. Ooh. We got, got a reward back. Did we? Fantastic. Yeah. Right. yeah. So the magmatic crucible gave us glowstone. And fluid insertion gives us illuminator frames and a reward bag. I got mushroom uh, eggs. Does that unlock any new quests for us? It does. Teleportation, um, fast cobble, which we'll definitely want to do at some point. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the redstone copying, although that will come in later. Although we've done most of that quest, but we'll do that later. That's fine. Uh, anything else that we want to do? Um, oh, okay. Uh, this is an extension of uh, this quest. Um, so we'll take out the water. That's the problem with this stuff is... Uh, uh, oops. Besides me making a mess. There you go. Is Because it's raining, we're getting a, an issue here. So um, let me do that. Oh. Can... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let me put that back in there then and empty out a barrel. Like so. And this is a new process that's been added in this uh, in the Grey and Skies 2 or, you know, in the latest versions. Um, where is it under? AE, here we go. We'll take some of this sky dust that we've been collecting and use that on a lava barrel and you get sky stone neat and that should oh wait a minute we'll uh, have to cook it up do i have to cook it i kind of screwed up where i was in the yep. quest uh what was it under power grid oh no but i did complete no, no assembly line grid. so that's good uh, assembly line. Do a lava. Right click the thing. Alright, well, I'll cook this sky stone then. Um, so, again, I'll borrow the furnace here for a moment. And grab our sky stone block. And there we go. Now we can claim that reward. And I just wanted to see whether or not that unlocked some uh, applied energistics things. Apparently not. It would be nice if it did. Yeah, I was hoping it would, but... I no. think we need... I think the quests aren't in yet. Yeah, that's possible. We're still on the alpha pack. Alright. Anyway, I think that's a, a good time to wrap up anyway. Um, you get what we're going to be doing. Um... And yeah, so for this episode, we've managed to um, automate cooking our ores, which is good. And that's all pretty much working. Um, just to remind people that the aluminium ore gravel doesn't change into the right things. And I'm going to empty my inventory just a touch so that I can open up a reward bag to end the episode on, because that's always fun. So let me just uh, dump some things in. Um, oh can do that by just going through these barrels and emptying my inventory somewhat there we go and the rest of this stuff can go in here that'll do for now that's enough space for me to open a bag up and I got more colored glowstone that's all I ever seem to get out of these quests things no I mean like I like them because like we're definitely gonna put them to use in some way but we just end up drowning in glowstone. I got glowstone is a lie. Yeah, I've got a few of those too. Glowstone is a lie. But again, we can use it. To, still works to light up things. So, yeah. 
I'm not going to worry too much. I actually got a rare reward. I got Ardite and Cobalt. Now that Ooh. is something worth shouting about. Fantastic. Yeah. How, how much did you get? I got two uh, ore blocks of each. Way so that might be enough to make ourselves some really good swords. Do you think we can do? Yeah. Uh, if I remember right, it goes into uh, Magnalium. Manulian, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. whatever. I like, don't want to pronounce it. Or Manalmanalmanalm. Manalmanalmanalm. Do do do. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably <laughs> check on the drying rack before we end the episode. Oh yeah, I have. We've forgotten probably about your done. sausage for like the whole episode. I'm almost tempted to leave your sausage up here um, as a monument. Maybe we need to make an another one. Just put it in an item. Well, we'd have to make another one be because I have to have all three in my inventory in order to claim the reward. There's go. two other things I made uh, episodes a while back. No, no, no. <laughs> go for it, Minji. Go grab your You'll sausage. You'll only have to... Uh... <laughs> Just go grab your sausage, yeah. Minji. We're all watching. Just, yeah, pick it up. Grab it. There we go. Yay! And if you want to hand your sausage in. I will do that. There we go. And we get a reward for now that we've... Uh, shrimp. Oh, it's turned from a sausage into just a raw shrimp. There you go. Oh, yes, we got... Buns. We got 16 shrimp for that, and it did not unlock anything, but there are other quest chains that we can do. That was an end of one. Okay, well, that's good. Um, all right, so we've, uh, I think that's a, a good time to wrap up. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. As per usual, uh, rating is appreciated. And leave a comment. We love reading. So from Fireweaver, Rolf. Demon and Menchie. What do we say? Anyone? Oh, sausage! No. Sausage! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, sausage! <laughs>